Hello and welcome to this week's edition of The Cozy Corner. We have a wonderful half hour of music lined up for you. On my left I have John Duffy from Mayo living in Lanesborough and on my right I have Noel Carberry from Derahan in County Longford on Pipes and Jerry Bohan from Leitrim but now living in Newtown Cashel and he is on flute. So if I could begin with you Noel. Noel, when I travel around the country to Flas and people ask me where I'm from and I tell them I'm from Longford, inevitably they say, oh, you must know Noel Carberry, the piper. And I know you know Noel to see and I've seen you play in sessions, but I, I don't really know you. So tell me a little bit about, um, about yourself. Well, the first thing I'm not so sure, is it a good or a bad thing that everybody knows me? But uh, um, I don't know, I, um, I suppose I'm playing pipes for the last... 30 years or more anyway, you know, and got around uh, a few places around the country and met great people through the music and uh, made great friends and that was wonderful. Yeah, it's a great, uh, great scene to get into the traditional music scene, you know, it's, it's uh, mighty altogether, yeah. You're the son of a very famous piper, Peter Carberry. Tell me a little bit about your father. Well, my father, he was, um, I suppose he, he uh, got the interest in the Yellow Pipes itself. He was at a match in Pierce Park in Longford Town here way back in the 1930s and he saw one of the great, as they were called, the Travelling Pipers, um, Johnny Dorden. He was playing uh, at the, you know, collecting as people to be going into the match and out, you know, whatever. But uh, he was playing tunes and my father saw the pipes for the first time. You know, it was a time when there was no television, you know, there was no radio in any house. So he saw this instrument for the first time and he was amazed with it. So um, from then, I suppose he uh, he was playing whistle and that you know and there were whistles that they used to make themselves you know from the the uh, the elderberry tree you know the the bull tree as they used to call it you know and they used to cut out the middle and then bore the holes and make whistles from that now how in tune they were I don't know but uh, no but he got the love of the pipes from seeing Johnny Dorn that time and he sold a heifer then at one stage then and, and uh, got his first set of pipes and uh, that was it things were downhill after that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Th that's an amazing story, and I know that the tradition of pipe playing he passed on to yourself, but he's also passed it on to young K uh, Kevin Barry Carberry. I talked to him recently, um, and he remembers his grandfather Peter uh, uh, teaching him how to play the pipes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my father was determined to get one of us anyway to to get the disease anyway. You know, so I was the youngest of six of uh, our family. You know, so it was it was do or die with me. Mm -hmm. The rest of them escaped, but. Uh, I got the, I got the disease. <laughs> so, yeah. it, it's a very difficult instrument to play. Or it is, I suppose, you know, starting off, you know, I suppose it's difficult, you know, with the tra transition from whistle to the pipes, I suppose. The hardest part is trying to remember to keep the bag filled, but it's just practice like everything else, you know. Myself, I'd say the fiddle is the, is the more difficult instrument, I'd say, you know, mm -hmm. but um, no, you get used to it after a while, anyway. loads of practice anyway, you know. Not being a Longford native myself, um, I wouldn't really know, but is there much of a piping tradition back uh, through the years in Longford? Well, so much as uh, way back, um, you know, there's been references to, to various pipers and that, you know, straight off, I can't remember names, but you know, back into the 1800s and 1700s. But at the time, then it was a lot of travelling pipers were coming through through the area and that, you know, and of course, like as well as the, the fairs and that, they used to visit the... Uh, the, the houses of the gentry and that as well, where you might get a, a night playing some music and that, you know. So um, it was, I suppose, the Travelling Pipers brought a lot of the music around the area and that. But then, um, I suppose, my father and a friend of his, Willie Reynolds from Westmeath and that, they used to invite Pipers in as well, you know, to play at various, I suppose, um, area they used to call them, other like sports and uh, field days and that, where you'd have concerts and dancing and, and music and that, yeah. Some of them had Leo Rossum down at a few of these as well. So he was the, see, there's the king of the pipers at the at the time, you know, and he was the only pipe maker in the country at one stage, you know, and um, until the 1960s, the formula of Peabody Ellen, and this kicked off the, the whole interest in the in the, I suppose keeping the Ellen pipes alive, yes. and the making of it and that as well, you know. So um, so here we are now. So mm -hmm. that's it. So thanks to the Carberry family, they're keeping the tradition of piping f really alive in Longford. I will try my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you have another set of tunes for me, Noel. We have indeed, surely, yeah. Um, 
We play these tunes, they're, they're um, a set of reels that uh, my father and myself recorded one time. It's, uh, um, the first tune is called Boil the Breakfast Early. And uh, there's another two tunes after that, and we're not sure which of them is called The Ladies' Pantalettes, but uh, I think it's the last one, I'm not sure. But uh, as for the, the other tune, I can't remember the name of it anyway. Uh, it's a long time since I saw the CD, so I can't remember. So uh, we'll have a go with these lads. Uh, yeah. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce Paddy Hanley from Arda. Paddy is an All-Ireland finalist in this year's score competition. Paddy, you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. What are you going to sing for me tonight? Uh, Bees Wing. I was 18 when I came to town They called it the summer of love There was burning babies burning flags And the hawks against the doves I took a job at the steaming Way down in Grafton Street And I fell in love with the laundry girl Who was working next to me Brown hair zigzagged around her face And the look of half surprise Like a fox caught in the headlights There was animal in her eyes She said to me, oh can't you see That I'm not the factory kind 
And if you don't take me out to fear, I lose my mind. She was a rare thing, as fine as a bee's wing, and so fine a breath of wind might blow her away. She was a lost child, she was running wild. She said, so long as there's no price on love, I'll stay. And I wouldn't want her any other way. We busked around the market towns, through picking down a mayo. We could tinker pots and pans and knives wherever we go. We were camping down the bower one time, and the work was mighty good. Oh, she wouldn't wait for the harvest. I thought we should. I said to her, we'll settle down and get a few acres dug With a fire burning in the hearth and babies on the rug She said, oh man, you foolish man, that surely sounds like hell And you might be lord of half the world, you'll not own me as well She was a rare thing, as fine as a bee's wing so fine a breath of wind might blow her away She was a lost child, she was running wild She said so long as there's no price on love I'd stay And I wouldn't want her any other way We were drinking more in those days Our tempers reached a pitch Like a fool I let her run away When she took the rambling itch And the last I heard she was living rough Back in the Dublin streets With a bottle of powers in her pocket A wolfhound at her feet And they said that she got married once To a man called Romney Brown even the gypsy caravan was too much like settling down They say her roses faded, rough weather and hard bruise Oh maybe that's the price you pay for the change that you refuse She was a rare thing, as fine as a bee's wing And I miss her more than ever words can say If I could just taste all of her wildness now If I could hold her in my arms today I wouldn't want her any other way And if I could hold her in my arms today I wouldn't want her any other way Welcome back to part two. Maeve Tyr from Mullingar Harp School is going to introduce her group to me now. Maeve, you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. Thanks, Anna. Maeve, who's playing with you tonight? Um, tonight we have Grace Keane, Shannon Brown and Hannah Tyrrell. And what are you going to play for us? Um, I'm going to play Lord Galway's Lamentation, Grace. Um, me and Hannah will play Lord Song of the Chanter and Shannon will play King of the Fairies. Okay, thank you, girls.
the heavenly sound of the harp there. Jerry, you're from Leitrim. How part of Leitrim are you from? I'm from Eslin Bridge, and I'm uh, south side of Mohol and south Leitrim. R- right, and That's you come uh, from a very musical family. I wouldn't say they were, they were a very musical family. There would have been music in it, and uh, the box would have been the uh, instrument of the of the males, shall we say, my grandfather and, and uh, father would have played. My father just played a very small bit in the box, but uh, his aunt, my grandfather's sister, was a very good fiddle player. Right. So they were the instruments, and... Um, how did you I end up? How did you end <laughs> up with the flute? <laughs> well, I, I I went to Mrs. Moffat and Drummond for uh, for um, we we used to go up there and play with uh, her under fourteen bands, and she had very good bands at the time. At the time, we actually won the All Ireland later under fourteen, and to kind of beef up the band, I was um, I was given a choice of playing the flute or the or the banjo. And they were needed for the band, and I took the flute, knowing nothing about either, and I know very little more about it today, maybe. But anyway, that's how I started playing the flute, and that's a long time ago now. That was back in the mid '60s. Right. Mm. You came then to live in Longford. I came to live in Longford, then uh, South Longford, Newtown, Cashel, and uh, it's very fortunate that I, I came there. It's a good musical area, you know. There. Uh, very fortunate to play with uh, Noel here and Johnny, two of the finest musicians around the country. And uh, they're from down, um, Johnny is living there, and of course, Noel, as he said earlier, is from there. But uh, there is a great tradition around there in that, um, you know, you have Handleys and Cases and lots of music um, out there as well. You know, Dan Farrell, God, we got him, he was a good fiddle player, and it's a great old tradition there in Newtown, and it's continued now, you know, they have a session there every Friday night, or every, the, the last Friday of every month in the local pub in Newtown Cashel, and it's a very good session, you know, and, and uh, I would meet the boys as well in Lanesborough, uh, you know, uh, they have a session there every Wednesday night in Clark's. Right, so mm. the session in Lanesborough is in Clark's. That's and right, yeah. It, and the pub then in, in Newtown Cashel, which pub do you uh, have the session? Well, there's, uh, you can't go astray, there's only the one pub oh there. Right. It's, it's called The Local, and it's <laughs> run by Gary and Sheila Mulvihill there, and they have a session there every uh, uh, last Friday of the, uh, the last Friday of each month. So that's where that is. So mm. if anybody wants to catch up with you, that's where they'll find well, you. Well, that's, that's where they'll find us, yeah. 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 We you have another set that. of tunes for me. Yeah, we're, we're going to play uh, uh, two hornpipes now. The first one is Alexander's, and uh, what's the name of the second? Noel? I, I um, uh, was Chief O'Neill's, uh, Chief O'Neill's, I Chief think O'Neill's. that's it, yeah. And there Thanks. were tunes, uh, I Thanks, suppose, uh, John Skelly is a piper from Newton Cashel. He brought them into the session, you know, so um, so we'll dedicate these to, to John. That's <laughs> brilliant.
that's just magical. John, you're from Mayo. What part of Mayo are you from? Well, I started my life in Clare Morris, come to Mayo many years ago, but left it as, as a young child and uh, via a pathway of Mullingar ended up living in Longford where I grew up. So that's the, the start of my life. And um, how did you start off playing music? Well, I come from a house that always loved music, fun and dancing. So I, it's not a, a long musical lineage as regards instruments, but there was always a great love of Irish music and all music indeed in our house and great respect. So that's where I come from. And um, at the age of 10, I began playing guitar. Um, I suppose it was all the popular music of the time, including rock and roll and everything else in between. So I eventually, thankfully, found Irish music and um, began playing guitar and banjo at that stage. Right. And uh, it brought me on to loads of tunes, loads of people and loads of enjoyment, I have to say. It's taken you all over the world, yourself and Noel. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, thankfully, um, we spent many years playing in a band called Rig the Jig. And it brought us round the world at least once anyway. <laughs> and uh, what a time we had of it. Uh, we were in Asia, America, Europe, all over the place. And um, it was folk and trad music, a mixture of both. So what a time we had and uh, six great people in the band and had many years of great times. Well, I suppose looking back, you know, do you have any outstanding memory of a place that you might have been? I think that probably Hong Kong or Taiwan, we, we spent a, we did a residency in Taiwan in a hotel and it, it had been my first time in the East and I have to say it was, it was an experience. Um, our music was very well accepted and uh, we were enthralled by the place. So I said that's probably one of the highlights. I just love the idea of, you know, the trad music from Longford, you know, just spreading out to the four corners of the earth. You know, that's just a wonderful image. Yeah, we set out to conquer the world, but uh, we did a little bit of it <laughs> and enjoyed our time doing it, yes. Yeah. Well, sadly, gentlemen, you know, we're coming to the close of this week's programme. Our time is running out. It, um, Noel and Jerry and John, it has been a pleasure having you. Um, to those of you who have been watching at home, thank you for tuning in and I hope you can join us next week for another episode of The Cozy Corner. John, you're going to play us out with a set of tunes. What are they? I can't put the names on the tunes. I can't probably put the name on three tunes anyway. I think, Noel, have you got them? Well, Jerry is the guy that uh, introduced these tunes to us, so we'll let Jerry... Yeah, well, the three, the three tunes are I Surely is the name of the first one. It should have been played by uh, Paddy Killorn, one of the great, great fiddlers. And um, after that, we play two Leitrim uh, tunes, or tunes that are very popular down there anyway, John Creamers, and finishing up then with the, the House on the Hill. It has been a pleasure having yeah. you, gentlemen. Thanks, Thanks very much, Thank
Uh, session. Well, there's uh, you can't go astray. There's only the one pub there. Oh, right. it's, it's called the local, and it's run by Gary and Sheila Mulvihill there, and they have a session there every uh, uh, last Friday of the uh, the last Friday of each month. So that's where that is. So mm. if anybody wants to catch up with you, that's where they'll find well, you. Well, that's where they'll that's where they'll find us. Yeah. 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 We'll you have another set of tunes for me. Yeah, we're we're going to play uh, uh, two hornpipes now. The first one is Alexander's, and uh, what's the name of the second? All I. I um, uh, Chief O'Neill's, no? Chief O'Neill's, Chief I think O'Neill's. that's it, yeah. And there Thanks. were tunes, uh, I Thanks suppose, uh, John Skelly is a piper from Newton Cashel. He brought them into the session, you know, so um, so we'll dedicate these to, to John. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome to this week's edition of The Cozy Corner. We have a wonderful half hour of music lined up for you. On my left, I have John Duffy from Mayo, living in Lanesborough. And on my right, I have Noel Carberry from Derahan in County Longford on Pipes. And Jerry Bohan from Leitrim, but now living in Newtown Cashel. And he is on flute. So if I could begin with you, Noel. Noel, when I travel around the country to Flas and people ask me where I'm from and I tell them I'm from Longford, inevitably they say, oh, you must know Noel Carberry, the piper. And I know you know Noel to see and I've seen you play in sessions, but I, I don't really know you. So tell me a little bit about, um, about yourself. 
Well, the first thing I'm not so sure is it a good or a bad thing that everybody knows me, but uh, um, I don't know, I, um, I suppose I've playing pipes for the last 30 years or more anyway, you know, and got around uh, a few places around the country and met great people through the music and uh, made great friends and that was wonderful, yeah, it was great, uh, great scene to get into the traditional music scene, you know, it's, it's uh, mighty altogether, yeah. You're the son of a very famous piper, Peter Carberry. Tell me a little bit about your father. Well, my father, he was, um, I suppose he, he uh, got the interest in the Yellow Pipes itself. He was at a match in Pierce Park in Lamford Town here way back in the 1930s. And he saw one of the great, as they were called, the travelling pipers, um, Johnny Dorden. He was playing uh, at the you know, collecting as people to be going into the match and out, you know, whatever. But uh, he was playing tunes and my father saw the pipes for the first time. You know, it was a time when there was no television, you know, there was no radio in any house anyway, you know. Not being a Longford native myself, um, I wouldn't really know, but is there much of a piping tradition back uh, through the years in Longford? Well, so much as uh, way back, um, you know, there's been references to, to various pipers and that now straight off, I can't remember names, but you know, back into the 1800s and 1700s. But at the time, then it was a lot of traveling pipers were coming through through the area and that, you know, and of course, like as well as the, the fairs and that, they used to visit the, uh, the, the houses of the gentry and that as well, where you might get a, a night playing some music and that, you know. So um, it was, I suppose, the traveling pipers brought a lot of the music around the area and that. But then, um, I suppose my father and a friend of his, Willie Reynolds from Westmeath and that, they used to invite pipers in as well, you know, to play at various, I suppose, um, area they used to call them, other like sports and uh, field days and that, where you'd have concerts and dancing and, and music and that, yeah. Some of them had Leo Rossum down at a few of these as well. So he was the, see, the king of the pipers at the, at the time, you know. <coughs> and he was the only pipe maker in the country at one stage, you know. And um, until the 1960s, the formula of Peabury Ellen, and this kicked off the, the whole interest in the, in the, I suppose, keeping the Ellen pipes alive yes. and the making of it and that as well, you know. So, um, so here we are now, so mm -hmm. that's it. So thanks to the Carberry family, they're keeping the tradition of piping really alive in Longford. I will try my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you have another set of tunes from me, Noel. Well, we have indeed, surely, yeah. Um, we play these tunes, they're, they're um, a set of reels that uh, my father and myself recorded one time. It's, uh, um, the first tune is called Boil the Breakfast Early, and uh, there's another two tunes after that, and we're not sure which of them is called The Lady's Pantalettes, but uh, I think it's the last one, I'm not sure. But uh, as for the, the other tune, I can't remember the name of it anyway. Uh, it's a long time since I saw the CD, so I can't remember. So uh, we'll have a go with these lads. Uh, yeah.
time is running out. It, um, Noel and Jerry and John, it has been a pleasure having you. Um, to those of you who have been watching at home, thank you for tuning in. And I hope you can join us next week for another episode of The Cozy Corner. John, you're going to play us out with a set of tunes. What are they? I can't put the names on the tunes. I can't probably put the name on three tunes anyway. I think, Noel, have you got them? Jerry is the guy that uh, introduced these tunes to us, so we'll let Jerry... Yeah, well, the three, the, the three tunes are I Surely is the name of the first one. It should have been played by uh, Paddy Killorn, one of the great, great fiddlers. And um, after that, we play two uh, tunes, or tunes that are very popular down there anyway, John Creamer's and finishing up then with the, the House on the Hill. It has been a pleasure having yeah. you, gentlemen. Thanks very much, Thank Andy. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce Paddy Hanley from Arda. Paddy is an All-Ireland finalist in this year's score competition. Paddy, you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. What are you going to sing for me tonight? Uh, Bees Wing. I was 18 when I came to town They called it the summer of love 
There was burning babies, burning flags and the hawks against the doves. I took a job at the steamer way down in Grafton Street and I fell in love with the laundry girl who was working next to me. Brown hair zigzagged around her face and the look of half surprise Like a fox caught in the headlights, there was animal in her eyes and She said to me, oh can't you see that I'm not the factory kind And if you don't take me out of here, I lose my mind She was a rare thing, as fine as a bee's wing so fine a breath of wind might blow her away She was a lost child She was running wild She said so long as there's no price on love I'll stay And I wouldn't want her uh, What a time we had of it uh, We were in Asia, America, Europe, all over the place And um, it was folk and trad music, a mixture of both So what a time we had and uh, six great people in the band and had many years of great times. Well, I suppose looking back, you know, do you have any outstanding memory of a place that you might have been? I think that probably Hong Kong or Taiwan, we, we spent a, we did a residency in Taiwan in a hotel and it, it had been my first time in the East. And I have to say it was, it was an experience. Um, our music was very well accepted and uh, we were enthralled by the place. So I said that's probably one of the highlights. Yeah. I just love the idea of, you know, the trad music from Longford, you know, just spreading out to the four corners of the earth. You know, that's just a wonderful image. Yeah, we set out to conquer the world, but uh, we did a little bit of it <laughs> and enjoyed our time doing it, yes. Yeah. Well, sadly, gentlemen, the you know, we're coming to the close of this week's programme. Our time is running out. It, um, Noel and Jerry and John, it has been a pleasure having you. Um, to those of you who have been watching at home, thank you for tuning in. And I hope you can join us next week for another episode of The Cozy Corner. John, you're going to play us out with a set of tunes. What are they? I can't put the names on the tunes. I can't probably put the name on three tunes anyway. I think, Noel, have you got them? Jerry is the guy that uh, introduced these tunes to us, so we'll let Jerry... Yeah, well, the three, the three tunes are I Surely is the name of the first one. It should have been played by uh, Paddy Kilorn, one of the great, great fiddlers. And um, after that, we play two Leitrim uh, tunes, or tunes that are very popular down there anyway, John Creamer's and finishing up then with the, the House on the Hill. It has been a pleasure having yeah. you, gentlemen. Thanks very much, Thank Andy.
It gives me great pleasure now to introduce Paddy Hanley from Arda. Paddy is an All-Ireland finalist in this year's score competition. Paddy, you're very welcome to the Cozy Corner. What are you going to sing for me tonight? Uh, Bees Wing. I was 18 when I came Whistles that they used to make themselves, you know, from the the uh, the elderberry tree, you know, the, the bull tree as they used to call it, you know, and they used to cut out the middle and then bore the holes and make whistles from that. Now, how in tune they were, I don't know, but uh, no, but he got the love of the pipes from seeing Johnny Doran that time, and he sold a heifer then at one stage then and uh, got his first set of pipes, and uh, that was it. Things were downhill after that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Th that's an amazing story, and I know that the tradition of pipe playing he passed on to yourself, but he's also passed it on to young uh, Kevin Barry Carberry. I talked to him recently, um, and he remembers his grandfather Peter uh, uh, teaching him how to play the pipes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my father was determined to get one of us anyway to to get the disease anyway. You know, so I was the youngest of six of uh, our family. You know, so it was it was do or die with me. Mm -hmm. The rest of them escaped, but. Uh, I got the, I got the disease. <laughs> so, yeah. it, it's a very difficult instrument to play. Or it is, I suppose. You know, starting off, you know, I suppose it's difficult. You know, with the tra transition from whistle to the pipes, I suppose. The hardest part is trying to remember to keep the bag filled. But it's just practice, like everything else. You know, myself, I'd say the fiddle is the is a more difficult instrument. I'd say, you know, mm -hmm. but um, no, you get used to it after a while. Anyway, loads of practice. Anyway, you know. Not being a Longford native myself, um, I wouldn't really know, but is there much of a piping tradition back uh, through the years in Longford? Well, so much as uh, way back, um, you know, there's been references to, to various pipers and that, now straight off I can't remember names, but you know, back into the 1800s and 1700s. But at the time, then it was a lot of travelling pipers were coming through through the area and that, you know, and of course, like as well as the, the fairs and that, they used to visit the... Uh, the, the houses of the gentry and that as well, where you might get a, a night playing some music and that, you know. So um, it was, I suppose, the travelling pipers brought a lot of the music around the area and that. But then, um, I suppose, my father and a friend of his, Willie Reynolds from Westmeath and that, they used to invite pipers in as well, you know, to play at various, I suppose, um, area they used to call them, other like sports and uh, field days and that, where you'd have concerts and dancing and, and music and that, yeah. Some of them had Leo Rossum down at a few of these as well. So he was the, see, was the king of the pipers at the, at the time, you know. And he was the only pipe maker in the country at one stage, you know. And um, until the 1960s, the formula of Peabury Ellen, and this kicked off the, the whole interest in the, in the, I suppose, keeping the Ellen pipes alive yes. and the making of it and that as well, you know. So, um, so here we are now, so mm -hmm. that's it. So thanks to the Carberry family, they're keeping the tradition of piping really alive in Longford. I will try my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you have another set of tunes for me, Noel. We have indeed, surely, yeah. 